Lenka from Prague. Not Finland. Kule from Prague. <laughs> oh, it's recording. Yes, for a whole minute. I'm a bit clogged in my nose as usual. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Um, so this is gonna be probably one of the biggest packages we've ever opened. Except uh, Mexico. Was that bigger? That was humongous. I guess. In size this is quite huge and I think we've opened like one or two like really big packages before. But this is a, it's a big one and it's been standing here for a long time because we I know that this package would probably take a long time to to record but opening it up which maybe I should have done earlier, I realized that it doesn't necessarily have to be so much. It's just extremely well packed. So in this package, there's a bunch of foam material to keep the stuff safe, which is really smart. Yeah, maybe there isn't that like a humongous amount of stuff in there, but yeah, well thought out. Let's get going anyway. <clears throat> the person who sent this package is called Lenka. So thank you Lenka so much for sending this package. Lenka is from Prague in Czech Republic. You, you don't say Czechoslovakia anymore, right? it's two different... Anyhow, Czech Republic, Lenka. Thank you for sending the package. Kat, do you want to read? Uh, yeah. I'm sending you a spread of typical Czech candy and snacks. Some of it, Slavia candy, Kofila bar, something I cannot pronounce, and Kavenki. Or... Try, try pronounce please. But I don't even know how to say this. Chapter notes, please. Horike Trubiki. Horike Trubiki? Uh, yeah. Are my favorite things, and some are just super weird, but still typical. Uh, I send you a Czech soda, Kofola. Do you want to pop it in the freezer? Pop it in the freezer. If it's what it's called. Pop. Uh, it might look like Pepsi, but it tastes very different. Hope it isn't completely flat by the time you taste it. That wouldn't be very good anymore. <laughs> I tried to find some licorice and sour candy, but since it's not something I usually buy, I didn't know which would be good. The hard candy, Slavia, tastes kind of strange, but I like it a lot from my childhood. If you try it, I recommend sticking with it until you get to the center. What is it with candy you have to get to the center to enjoy? I'm also sending you some cat tongue chocolate. Sometimes we have cats in Sungen. Yeah, I... Same. It's a normal milk chocolate, but it's for some reason it's shaped that it's supposed to be a cat tongue. It does have some cute kitties on the packaging. Cute kitties. There's a lot of other things, but explaining everything will take a long time. And it's gonna be more fun for you to figure it out on your own. Thank Good you. luck. <laughs> I can see, I, I don't want to take too close of a look because I want to be a little bit... Where's tiny? I want to be a little bit surprised still. It seems to be a... A good amount of snacks in there. I'll start fishing out from this package. I'll start with this one. Bohemian Rhapsody Chips. What's that? Bohemia? Ruby? Ruby uh, Risne Ruby Solene. Don't even pretend. You have no idea. Uh, I have to try. You should... Why do you make it on Italian then? I don't know. It's just how it looks to me. You should try too. No. It looks like easily salted regular chips. Like the Swedish uh, Vikning chips. Yeah, very similar. Like in the potato taste as well. This will be great chips uh, to dip. Something that we don't really have in Sweden is probably you won't be able to see this, but what I'm trying to say is the ruffles are. We have different kinds of ruffles in Sweden, but this kind is deeper and like bigger than anyone that we have. And I've seen this in a few different European snacks, so it's kind of cool. I like it. Um, great. Mm, six out of ten. I'm not much of a chippy person. Chippy person. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. A good dip snack. Also Bohemia, same brand. Maxi mix with uh, seems to be like a different kinds of pretzels and. Sure. Is the lighting bad? There are four different kinds. Goldfish. Regular breaded goldfish. <laughs> Fluffy. Fish with some uh, spices. Mmm, cheesy stick. Cheese stick was quite good. Pretzel! Okay. I mean, this is nothing that I don't think anyone would ever buy. It just appears in some places. <laughs> and I like it. I like all of them. In Swedish, we call this a tiltug. Maybe when you're drinking a beer, mm -hmm. it okay. has some pretzels and stuff to it. Perfect snack for when you're drinking wine or beer or something. Just as a side thing. I like all of them. 
Hmm? I think the cheese sticks were, were quite good. Do you want a great fish? I will give all of them like eight out of ten. Give the, the fishes and the pretzels six and the cheese sticks eight. Cool. Very nice. Bohemia seems to be a good brand so far. They've been doing us well. I guess we can just keep going with the Bohemia streak. This is also... Ew, no! This is also Bohemia. This is salt and vinegar, right? No, it's mustard. Is mustard vinegar? Horstite. I can't just throw in a list somewhere. <laughs> if you feel like it. <laughs> I can. Horstite. <laughs> Horstite. Prosciutti. Horstite. And now you did it. Um, if this is mustard, it's gonna be disgusting. It probably is mustard. This is not a good enough one? That's the biggest one in the entire bag. <laughs> this is more my kind. Wow. Oh, fucking gross! Blah! <laughs> Blah! I hate mustard so much! Oh! Do you like it? No, I, I, like, I don't like mustard. And this is a, like a very clear mustard flavor Blah. but it's not like i puke from it i puke from it mustard is so strong it's so strong yeah it's a good good good, good taste uh, good yeah i'm not a fan of mustard but i i'm sure that people that like mustard would like this kind of chip zero out of ten it's not all that bad disgusting i'll give them a i mean it's not my flavor so i mean three three out of ten uh, I guess Bohemia streak over. <laughs> but here comes another one. Spis prosciutti. 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 That must be prosciutti, isn't it? The ham. Like. This is a barbecue. What do you call it? In Sweden, we call this a grill spet. The, the thing that's on the bag here. Barbecue stick. Uh, yeah. A stick where you put the meats and vegetables and then put it on the grill. Yeah, ham. Prosciutti. Pretty I mean, good. But why, why is there a bunch of grilled vegetables on there then? This tastes exactly like, like smoked turkey or ham or something. Very really like close to bacon flavor. I um, quite like it. Um, yeah, really tasty. I'm gonna give that a 9 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Okay, these snacks are pretty good so far without yeah, the, except, except the mustard. <laughs> Banani. Oh, a banani. Celle de chocolate. Banana chocolate. Would you like to taste the taste of the banana? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I know I'm not gonna like this, but mm -hmm. it was so soft. I thought it was gonna be foamy on the inside. But it's like a jelly. Tasty. Something a little bit similar to this, but it's more foam. In the, like yeah, in we the don't really have there. this uh, creamy banana. I don't like the cream, but I don't like uh, banana flavors in candy. Never. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me, it's a four. Eight. Very clear flavors though, so if you like banana, I'm sure it's something that you would like. So Yovi Suk, classic. It looks like yeah, uh, it's dough. Dough. It is kind of dough. Some kind of fudge-ish thing. It's such a weird like. Uh, no. No. It has a little bit of an alcohol -y flavor to it, so maybe there's some, well, something I, in there. I cannot detect the alcohol flavor. I don't think it's in there, but. Well, uh, you wouldn't know since you don't know everything about it. I it's do not like the flavor anyhow, so 3 out of 10. Definitely not, awesome. not a big fan for me. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. Chiyo, this brand, I don't know if it's uh, uh, Czech, but this brand we've seen on a bunch of other chips and crisps and stuff, stuff like that from Europe. So this brand is not the first time we see. This is uh, a, some kind of a cheese crusted covered nut. Crunchy coated peanuts. Could be interesting. No, I like cheese and I like nuts, but this mix was um, was not weird mixture. Yeah, not for me. Respectfully, move on. Not not terrible. <laughs> Two out of ten. Yeah, four out of ten. The mix just like separately, for sure, <laughs> but not not the mix. The Santa Pop <laughs> looks like a. <laughs> there you go. It looks like a mix between Santa and the Pope. Well, Santa definitely doesn't have a hat with a cross on it, so... Oh, you wouldn't know. Sneaky, you know. Whoa! <laughs> Damn! So this, uh, is this like a big kind of fluffy chocolate? Is that all in one piece? Jesus! Yeah. Can you separate them? No. no. Huh. 
expecting like because this is very light so i'm expecting this big chunk of chocolate to be very airy inside Ah, big bite much? Oh, it's bread on the inside. Oh, we've had something similar to this before too. When it's like the almost mm. gin gingery mm. bread on the inside. Soft gingery bread. Mm. That's weird. There must be something Christmassy, but why does the Santa Claus have a Pope hat? Not with my cup of tea. Interesting, but um, 5 out of 10 for me. Yeah, 5 out of 10 is good. Cheers. It's interesting, we don't have anything like it in Sweden, especially not marketed as a candy. Yeah. Horike Tribiki. Tribiki. Another kind of short. This is like hey. Do you want a tip on your pronunciation? Yeah. There's a Czech football player called Rusicki, and his last name is spelled Rusicki. So maybe that's Tribiki. I don't know. I mean. Horike Tribiki. <laughs> Like we're, we're just taking shots in the dark here, hoping we're, we're hitting something. But as long as the Czech people that watch this enjoy our pronunciation, I'm happy. Focus. What the hell? Apparently like a toilet paper roll with the chocolate on it. <laughs> this is like a wafer, some kind of wafer. Uh huh. How are you supposed to use that? Can I do? There's nougat on the inside, I think. It's weird. I would like to know the backstory to this. <laughs> the backstory? <laughs> I don't think the history of it stands on, on here, you know? Like what a, backstory do you yeah, want? Yeah, but what is it supposed to be? Like, is it supposed to be like a pipe? Or is it supposed to be a drumstick? Like, you know? No, it's supposed to be a, a candy cat. A drumstick or a pipe? No, it's a candy. Yeah, but nobody would make a candy look like this if there wasn't a reason behind it. Yeah, they would. A very strange shape of a candy. <laughs> Yeah, or might, you only dip one half in chocolate, it, it needs to mean something. It might be strange, but it doesn't have to mean something. Are you, is this a conspiracy theory or something? Yeah. Is this a government's plan? I would at least want to know what Petraco, Petrakovi <laughs> Horitre Trubichki means. Can someone translate what that means so we can get the backstory? There's no backstory, it's just a candy. Five out of ten? Yeah, five out of ten for me too. Weird. Interesting. Brumik. It's a brown bear uh, made of bread. Look. <laughs> okay, it's good enough. You see it's bear. Got the fuck. Is this bear filled with chocolate? Ooh. Ah! Ah! God, can you eat more of I had to get into the chocolate. You don't have to. Yes, you do! That's actually kind of good. Sound surprised. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not I bad. I mean, I'm gonna seven out of ten. Happy surprise. <laughs> if someone gave it to me, I would eat it, so... <laughs> Six of them. What if you found it on the street? <laughs> I would not eat it. What if you walked into a party and there was a par <laughs> at the party? You have your special locations, you know, where these things no one can be eaten or not. puts out chocolate-filled, like, cookie b bears at parties. But what if they did? Yeah, but that's not a scenario that makes sense. <laughs> no, but would you eat it if it was? Uh, depends. At parties, you usually want to stick to salty things. Would you ever serve candy at a party instead You're of chips? You're a salty thing. Moving on. Bebe. Bebe. <laughs> Bebe Rodine. This is kind of crackers. And I don't mean white people, I mean crackers. So this pretty much seems like uh, quite basic crackers. Exactly like Maria cakes. Some people have this as a fika snack in Sweden, but... Usually they just give them to kids. <laughs> small babies. Yeah. They can't handle anything else. <laughs> bebe. That's what they call bebe. 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 Yeah, maybe that's a bebe snack. It's pretty bland because it's wheat cracker, but it's fine. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 is neutral. It's a crusty cookie. This is a Slate Venecki. It's another cracker. Seems to be kind of a... Oh, wasn't that cocoa beans? Or am I mistaken? Oh, cocoa! Oh, that's cocoa beans. Never mind. Quite dry, so worse for with coffee. 5 out of 10. Yeah, 6 out of 10. It was... Okay. We're gonna do one more candy and um, then we have about half left. So I'll split mm. this into two videos. Otherwise, you'll be here for the rest of your life. So the last one here is called Ledove Castani. Maybe a chestnut something? I don't know. Seems to be a like old candy. They have like. <laughs> oh, oh, almost got it. Oh. 
Ah, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Fuck it then. Don't focus, I don't care. I said what it was already. Castani, got hail. This is a dark chocolate with probably uh, some kind of. Maybe it's a chestnut feeling, I'm not sure. I ate the uh, like roasted chestnuts uh, once in uh, some kind of nougat. Salzburg. Was not good. It's just some kind of nougat on the inside, but darker chocolate. I'm not a fan of darker chocolate. This was not too dark, like super dark. Like I prefer dark chocolate this way over like dark chocolate and disgusting fruit combo. That's just disgusting. Thank you for watching this half of the video, guys. You so didn't rate it. Maybe I was gonna interrupting my outro again. If you want another grade for this, check out the next video. <laughs> no, the the grade will be four out of ten. Five out of ten for me. Monsieur. Yeah, this candy is not for you, buddy. Oh, you're related to Siri Lip. Are you related to Siri? Oh, you're you, you, you. Oh, Denise. Oh, it's so heavy now. Oh, Denise is so heavy now. Yeah, he just wants the candy on the table. Oh. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for watching this half of the video, guys. Um, if you want to see the rest of the candy, it seems to be a very interesting road ahead as well. Then I suggest you watch the number two. Number dos. Number dos. I don't know how to say two in Czech. Svetka. Svetka. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Say goodbye, Menas. Goodbye.